Okay, well, I'm so thrilled and so honored to be here tonight to talk about growing your network. Um, I'm just going to introduce myself super quickly. My name is Sonia. It's Sonia with a J. So a lot of people here in the United States call me Zonja. But um, I'm originally from Germany and I moved here pretty exactly 10 years ago because my husband is American. So, and you know, then we had kids and then I had this desire to take my kids to Germany at least once a year, but flights are expensive, trips to Germany, to Germany are expensive. Um, and I just kind of had to wait, had to find a way to make some money from home because I certainly didn't want to, you know, leave my kids and just go somewhere, but I also didn't have really a chance to do something because I have two master degrees in Germany, but they didn't really mean anything here. So I didn't have much choice then to figure out how to make money from home. And this is how I got to it works. But one of my biggest hesitations was that I wouldn't know anybody. Like, you know, I I didn't know anybody. I have never heard of Instagram before I joined the business. And I had posted one time on Facebook before I joined the business. So <laughs> like I didn't have any network, right? Like my small network that I still had was back in Germany. Um, but at this time I didn't even know that the German market was open. And, you know, I just thought, oh, I'm just going to take on the training that is here. It's in English and I'm going to figure out how to work it. Um, but, you know, I think growing your network, I really think, or, you know, running out of people to talk to about the business or the products, I feel like that's one of the biggest fears that anybody has in network marketing, right? I mean, because our business grows if we talk to more people. So the fear of running out of people to talk to I think it's very common in this business, but thanks to social media, growing a network is easy peasy. <laughs> it's, it's insane. Like if we just look at the, like the people that we can reach through social media, it's insane. So long story short, I ended up building my complete German team through social media and nobody that is on my team now or was in the last six years like none of them I knew before I got into the business so I seriously I started from zero my best friend my maid of honor my sisters they are still not even customers so um we will definitely figure out how to grow the network and I'm just gonna go through Instagram Facebook and then of course your personal market and even though, you know, the personal market right now is a little bit different than it was about a year ago or like nine months ago, it's just a different situation that we're in right now. I still think that the personal market is, is so important. Um, it's, it's so important because I'm just going to start with this. Okay. I'm just going to start with your in-person market because I truly believe if you if you manage the in-person market, you can manage anything. Because if you go out there and you breathe, live and breathe, this is how you guys say it. If you live and breathe, it works and you're hundred um, percent into the business and can talk to normal people like outside of social media, then you can definitely talk to people on social media. So what did I do? I mean, I just joined I joined like those little mom coffee groups and meet for tea. And, you know, I just really tried to find somehow a connection. And, and then when the kids were a little bit older, you know, we did like those little karate things. And then they, they started a, a Brazilian martial art. And that is where like I was mind blown. Right. So I actually went to this martial arts studio with my kids. The name of the martial art is Capoeira. It's a Brazilian martial art. And 
it's beautiful. So you got to look it up. On, like it's, it's really beautiful. And my kids live it and love it. And so I went there and I wanted to be not working. Like I was, you know, the one, oh, you know, I grow my, I grow my team on social media. I grow it in Germany. I, when I'm here, I just want to be here. And I just want to be mom of, of Hogan, Cassie and Charlize. I don't want to like work. But um, if you start and, and even in, like, I don't call it, I don't, I don't know if it's a, like a sewing class, if it's a cooking class for you, if it, it doesn't matter what it is, something that you do for yourself or for your kids where you go regularly. So what happened is you get to know people, right? And you talk and there is always a chance to get in. Okay. So what do you do? right like what do you do and it's the easiest thing to do and I was never like right in their face but within eight months I had signed every single mom and even the owner of the karate of, of the Capoeira studio as either a customer or a distributor just because I was there twice a week I was there I talked to them um I drank my greens, of course, you know, right in front of them. So, and that is completely growing your network because then what happens? So now you know all those people. And one of the first things, of course, is that you ask them about their Facebook. And guys, Facebook in the United States, it's so much easier than anywhere in the world. Like everybody here has Facebook and nobody will tell you no. Like if you ask them if, you know, if, if they have Facebook, they will say yes, and they will gladly accept your invite. Um, there is some countries, you know, where it's not, it's not that, that open. So you always want to ask anybody that you meet and that you have a conversation with, even if you meet them in the park, like playing in the park and you meet a mom, um, you know, I mean, it's so easy to just say, hey, let's connect. Are you on Facebook? I, I, I really enjoyed spending time with you. Are you on Facebook? Maybe we can do this again. Like, you don't even need to talk about the business at this time. You just need to make a connection that comes from your heart, you know? Like, so just be you and just um, show interest in the people and find them on Facebook or have them find you on Facebook because this is definitely so the contact starts in person but you close the deal on facebook like that's really how i look at it um so of course it is super important that you always post and we've we've had that we had you know what to post about jack is going to talk about host to post tomorrow which is so cool um so we do post we we do post every single day we do stories every single day so what are the people going to see that you just added, you know, from the playground, from the karate studio, from the, I don't know, the cafe, um, from, from the home improvement store? Um, you always want to add them on Facebook if you had a conversation that you genuinely enjoyed. And you will enjoy from now on every conversation with a new person. You just will. So just get this in your head. Like, just be that one that loves to have conversations. I know there's people that don't like just having conversations, but honestly, guys, I was, I was one, I, I didn't want to. Like, I was so insecure. I, and I still am with my English. Like, I really am. <laughs> I told Jackie, I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope somebody will understand me. So I was terrified about starting conversations. But in the end, it makes you feel so good if you just talk to people and just really just talk to them and smile at them and just, you know, let them be part of your life and you get to be part of their life. And then you connect on Facebook and then they see your post. And then, you know, the circle kind of closes itself. So anyways, that are, these are some tips that I really would want to encourage you to do as far as growing a personal business, like just be open and look at people just try it, just make yourself do it. And, you know, when I prepared for this call, like that was one of the questions I'm like, okay, so how, like, what was the most important thing that somebody told me when I started in that business? And honestly, when it comes to personal finding people and personally growing your network, 
do not be the work from home mom that is at the checkout like this. Like, just don't do that anymore, right? Like if you're in a store, put your phone in your purse or leave it in the car, you're not gonna need it. I, I swear you're not gonna need it. And just be open and see what's happening in the world. Um, again, you know, it's a little bit harder right now because I always use this, but still, like you can still smile through your eyes and make eye contact. Like you can still, share smiles and people react to it and 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 you will get used to that and but yeah so this was one of the hottest and biggest and most important tips for me like do not be the one that goes through the store like this and then sits at the checkout and just waits and you know just buries yourself in the phone just don't do it you will think of me the next time you're gonna go shopping somewhere like you will <laughs> you're gonna be on your phone you're gonna be like oh this German girl said don't be anyways <laughs> okay now let's move over to Facebook because we already added some people on Facebook right from like personal contact and other than that I really think Facebook you just gotta do it you just gotta friend people um and you know things have changed over those last six years um, as far as how many friend requests you can send but I think one of the easiest ways to do is still if you are in groups um, that really share your interest like you, like if you're vegan you don't want to be in a keto group or if you you know if you live keto you don't necessarily want to be in a vegan group but you guys know what I'm saying um, like the the interests that you have you will find groups for that. And just be a little bit active, like you don't need to be overly active, but every now and then just like a post and post something, ask a question. But in those groups, you can, um, yes, you can really friend a lot of people. Like you can find a lot of people. Like Jackie said, I mean, she, I have no idea how many Disney groups there are, but probably a lot. And that's probably where you um, find your, your Facebook friends. I'm in a lot of groups, um, Germans in Florida, Germans in America, Germans or moms in, you know, like the South, uh, German moms in the South or German homeschool moms in America, like, you know, all kind of like that is kind of my um, area where I'm in. And then of course in Germany, I'm in a few groups that just really interest me. So I feel like if you're in a group, it's the easiest to, set, to send friend requests because Facebook will let you do it longer, especially if you are a little bit active in those groups. Like if you're not active in the groups, they usually give you like five or six and then they say, hey, I don't think you know the person. So be a little bit active in those groups. Um, again, not overly, but make a point of every now and then just liking something, commenting. I mean, it's 20 seconds, really. <laughs> it's not that long. And then just send friend requests, right? So, I don't know, start with 10 a day. And in the next week, do 20 a day. And in the next week, I don't know, 25 a day. Um, I wouldn't overdo it because again, eventually Facebook says, hey, you know, like they give you this message. I don't know how, what it says in English, Jackie, but it says, something like i don't <laughs> i don't think you know this person if you do you can report it um when you get this message you definitely want to stop sending friend requests and wait for a few hours and then you can send more um a lot of people will just accept your friend requests um some people i don't know at least that happens to me with the germans they're like hey, do i know you like that's a very i don't know check it does that happen in the united states a lot that people not so much Okay, but if it happens, I usually say, no, I don't know you yet, but I always love to find profiles that look interesting and happy and just love to connect with people. Like, you know, just stuff like that. Sometimes if I'm in a really good mood, I, um, I say, no, I don't know you yet. I work, I work on social media and I always grow my network and I like finding um, good profiles that just really speak to me so that I already drip something in there, you know, that... I work on social media. I'm not just like <laughs> killing time like most people. So yeah, but that's definitely what I would do on Facebook um, through groups continuously, consistently. That's the English word, like consistently. 
Have you have you heard that word before? Like in the last days, consistently, right? Everything we do, we do consistently. So also sending friend requests on Facebook and Instagram. And now we are on Instagram. And this is actually my jam. Like I want to say I grow 98% of my business on Instagram. Um, always have. Often I pull them over to Facebook because I feel like it's a little bit easier to seal the deal on Facebook, but I get my leads mainly on Instagram. So when I started, we had this philosophy on growing your Instagram. You want people that are active. Um, and that's pretty much it. Like that's what you want, right? So what did we do? Um, we would follow 50 people an hour. Like we would have one day where we would follow a lot of people. And then the next day, if they didn't follow us back, we would unfollow them. I still do that. Like I, I st oh, okay. Jackie just said, okay. I send 15 to 20 at a time, two to three times a day. That's awesome. Okay, so that's, that's where you wanna get. Um, so I still do that. I still follow people and hope that they follow me back. And if they don't, I unfollow them. It did get a little bit more challenging over the years just because Instagram, like there's not the unfollower apps that work as easy as they used to, but there's a lot of ways to just to, to work around. No, so one day, one day you follow, the next day you unfollow those that don't follow you back. The next day you follow, the next day you unfollow. You follow, you unfollow. Um, because if people don't, don't follow you back within 24 hours, it's either because they don't want to follow you back or they are not on Instagram daily. But you want people that are on Instagram a lot. Okay. Now, Again, Instagram changed a little bit and I would still encourage you to do that and um, just go in like hashtags that, that you use or that sound interesting. Um, I personally believe in hashtags that have something to do with you and not the business, like weight loss. It's just don't use that hashtag to follow people. Like, losing weight like you know the obvious stuff but stuff that interests you like a hashtag that I use all the time and the hashtag that of course I use to follow a lot of people I'm sure Jackie has like Disney World Orlando Disneyland what California Disney per Paris like I'm sure there's a lot of Disney stuff in there for me it's a lot of um emigration I'm the emigration mom, mom that's what I am on my Instagram so I always use the hashtag emigration in German like which is called Auswanderer um, <laughs> so just use hashtags that speak about you you know and what you post and 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 what you share and not the obvious ones and, or you just um, find a profile that you find really interesting and you go on the last post and you go on the likes and you just follow people from there. And on Instagram, it still works. But on Instagram, you just, you know, you want them to follow back, which got harder over the years. I feel like a lot of people do not follow back. But here's the thing. It really doesn't, it really doesn't matter so much how big your following is, right? Like you definitely want to be over the 1500. Like you, you, you need to get there because if you don't have 1500 followers yet, it's hard. Like it's, it's hard to on Instagram, you know, to have that engagement and to really get the business going. So that is your first goal to get to the 1500. Now, why do we unfollow those that don't follow back? Because you don't want to have just 1500 followers, but follow a thousand like that. L First of all, it looks awful. And secondly, it really hurts your algorithms. Like if you follow more people than follow the follow you, it hurts your algorithms and a lot less people will see your posts. Um, so you do need to unfollow every now and then. 
it also is on the on the um, algorithm there was a change so that's why yeah, it comes from all those bloggers um, they want to have a crap ton of followers but they don't want to follow anybody but that's what Instagram boosts so if you can get a gap in between the people that you follow and those that follow you back and um, where you follow less than what follow you it will boost the algorithm how do you get people to follow you that you don't follow okay you need to be interesting like if you share something that speaks to people they will follow you and i i will talk about how to get them on your profile but the the, the bottom line is you know you can beat any and every algorithm if you share content that people want to see if people fall in love with you if people share your opinion if people feel inspired by you so in the end it really comes down to who are you what do you show um what do you stand for on instagram and i know this is a little bit off topic but i feel it's so important um because if they feel like they can identify themselves with you it's also going to be a lot easier for them to click the follow okay so what do you want to show clearly positivity and inspiration motivation product <laughs> stuff like that but the post part you guys had an amazing call already so um yes how do you get the people to go on your profile without you following them so there is this 52 like 50 slash two rule okay which means on 50 profiles and you do this every single day on 50 profiles you do at least two or more interactions a day and you again you can go through hashtags like let's say hashtag i don't know travel with kids that's something that i use a lot too you go on the hashtag travel with kids <laughs> and then you go you don't go to the okay i have no idea what that's called in english so you know how you, when you go in the hashtags and it says most oh my gosh jackie can you help me on this i don't know how it's called in english so there's the most recent ones and then there is the top like the top ones yeah the top ones like you don't want to go on the top ones you want to go on the recent ones because that's usually where you find you know the more normal moms like not the, <laughs> the blogger moms um and then you go for that hashtag let's say for 20 profiles you like at least two pictures or you like one picture and comment ideally is if you like two pictures and leave one comment they will go on your profile they will scroll your profile if they like it they will follow you okay um so 50 slash two or three and then you just use another hashtag and do the same thing the other thing that I have been doing that has worked really well for me is I go on a big profile. Um, and right now I'm just going to share with what I've been doing over the last six weeks um, because this is like my area. But again, you got to find your area. I'm sure there's like big for Jackie, there's big Disney bloggers. And if you are like, if you love cooking or home decor or all this stuff you know you find bloggers that are in that area where you like also post about and go to a very recent post and <laughs> go on the comments underneath and just like them just like the comments from their followers and they're like oh why did like it's 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 so easy you just like and they there's a lot of people that will come to your profile and sometimes i just like and then i go on their profile and you know i leave a comment or watch the stories and do a reaction to the story but it's so easy to find people that way and if i re if i really run low on time i just like their comments and because it is on a comment like it is on a post of somebody else where they commented it and they're like huh <laughs> why did she like mine they go on my profile and if they like my profile they give me a follow so gosh it's nine o'clock and i think i'm pretty much done